that counts? with plants you're a doctor you care for things or my sudden constant unquenchable thirst presumably because they're about her mother a woman whose needs she once again prioritizes over the bad team ryan this this number with a possible tip about a poison ivy sighting where are you i'll be right there gotham city botanical gardens renee montoya mary Trust me i'm well aware nowhere around you is safe renee i'm the one who calls in the tip what do you think she thinks about down there i mean Besides freedom, and water, and how her veins scrape together like sandpaper. Easy. Let's not make this ugly. She thinks about how much she hates you, Renee. <laughs> Hearing me, Luke. This is exactly me, just without the part that does everything you want. Your dad need him. You said it yourself. You don't have PTSD. And you don't need a team doctor. And you certainly don't need your daddy telling you what you can and can't do, am I right? Time you heard my voice for once, loud and clear. Mary. Time you got wrapped up in mine for once. Sorry, you're kicking us out of this place simply because we're trying to educate people on the importance of knowing their blood type. You know what, miss? You're completely right. I am so sorry. Stay as long as you want. Why are you checking my blood type? Because it's important to know. I mean, imagine if you were in a near fatal accident, you wouldn't want to run the risk of being given the wrong blood. <sighs> no, miss? What will you do to me if I don't take the cure? I would have to keep you confined until we figure something out. We can't just let you hurt people. That's what I thought. It's time I step out of your shadow and into my own sunlight. It takes time to make bad look this good. Hi. How you have blossomed. Well, he certainly looks like fun. This is all a misunderstanding. Give me some time to figure it out. Please, take all the time you need. I don't want to hurt you, Mary. It's me. I told him. So you don't have to put us all through that. I don't know what you're talking about, Fizz. Purple shot frappe, extra sweet cream, and conveniently, free of charge. Freeze. 
You're staying right here. I'm going alone. You're not gonna stop me. Nighty night. Hey. Where's Pam? I can't let you find her. This is so not me. Hello. I'm Dr. Hamilton. Do you know who I am? Of course. Harold Marlowe, CEO of Gotham United Healthcare. We didn't just kidnap a rando. This was a focused, specific abduction. Good. To Here's the thing, Harry. I've treated tons of patients. Single moms, students, the unhoused. You know what they all have in common? <laughs> they all have claims denied by you. Perhaps if you spent a little more time in nature, you might have the chance to put yourself in their shoes. Imagine you're the dad of a kid whose treatment isn't covered. So you kid get sicker and sicker. You get poor and poor. You lose your home. You're living in your car. You're drowning in a lifetime of death. And suddenly, just having a sick kid seems like a day off. Figured out what to do with all of this energy, this power. And I don't need to be drawing the kind of heat that comes with being the girl who drowned the city. Let me go. Thank you, Mary. You're right. Guess I am the crazy one. Says the Arkham inmate, still pretending she's stuck in a children's fairy tale grown woman dressed like a flying rodent. Okay, you made your point. You know what, don't queen of unemployment. I didn't even say anything. Yeah, but you're here. Come on, you're wrong. I wanna stop Poison Ivy from this. <laughs> they drain her energy. How much are we talking? If I had to guess, every last drop. No. <laughs> I'm back. Oh, I can feel it.